I am Anil Kumar. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for watching my videos, posting excellent questions and sharing some brilliant questions from all over the world. Now here is a question from one of our subscribers. It is based on linear inequalities. Systems of equations, I should say systems of linear inequalities. This is a very important topic and I hope many of the viewers will benefit from it. The question here is, a farmer has 80 hectares of his farm available for planting maize and cabbages. He must grow at least 10 hectares of maize and 20 hectares of cabbage to meet demands. He prefers to plant more cabbages than maize, but his workforce and equipment will only allow him to cultivate a maximum of three times the quantity of cabbages to that of maize. Based on this information, we have three questions. A. Represent the information above as a system of inequalities. B. Sketch graph of these inequalities. C. If the profit of maize is R800 per hectare and on cabbages is R500 per hectare, how should the farmer plant the two crops to make a maximum profit and what is this profit? So let's begin by defining our variables. We're talking about uh, two things here, which is maize and cabbages, right? Okay. So as far as variables are concerned, we'll actually take maize along the x-axis and we'll take cabbages along the y-axis. So we'll take this as X and we'll take this as Y. Well, you could do the otherwise also. It doesn't really matter, right? Now, we have a farmer has 80 hectares of his farm available for planting maize and cabbages. So that gives you first equation that in hectares X plus Y can maximum be 80, right? So it is less than or equal to 80. So the first statement gives us one equation, right? Now, so we have done this part. Now the next one here is, he must grow at least 10 hectares of maize. So at least 10 hectares of maize. So maize is X. So we say X has to be greater than or equal to 10. Clear? Now the next equation is and 20 hectares of cabbage. Sorry. So cabbage is y for us. y should be greater than or equal to 20. So these are all the inequalities which we can straight away write from the statements given to us. Right? Now we are talking about the preference. He prefers to plant more cabbages than maize, but his workforce and equipment will allow only to cultivate a maximum of three times quantity of cabbage. So that means cabbage could be maximum three times that of maize, right? So it says will only allow him to cultivate a maximum of three times the quantity of cabbage. That means cabbage could be more, right? to that of maize. So cabbage is y for us, right? So so maximum of three times means maximum or less than. Do you see that? So three times x doesn't make sense to you. That gives you your systems of equations, correct? So, so we got the first part here, which is represent this information as a system of equation. So that is our system of equation, right? With the variables defined. Now we need to sketch the graph of these inequalities and part C is profit of maize is 800 per hectare and of cabbage is 500 per hectare. How should the farmer plant the two crops to make maximum profit and what is this profit? So we'll look into these parts in a fresh page. So now let's copy these equations on a page and then graph all the inequalities. 
So we are saying that we are going to put maze along the x-axis. So we'll put maze here. And we'll say cabbages on this side, right? Okay. We're actually talking about hectares of land, okay? Now, the first equation which we have is x plus y is less than equal to 80 since we have 80 hectares of land right so that means i have to draw a straight line connecting this 80 and that 80 right so so we'll draw a straight line joining these two so let's join them now this will be a solid line since you know the total can be 80 so sometimes we use dotted lines, sometimes solid, dotted when that line is not within our domain, right? So that is our first equation. The second equation for us is that x should be greater than or equal to 10. That is, maze is greater than or equal to 10. That means we have a vertical line at 10, right? I should have shaded also. Let me shade them also. So, okay. So, this line actually means greater than, right? I mean, equal to. When we say greater than, that means we are looking into this side. We are looking into this side of this graph. Correct? Okay. Let me shade. Similarly, when we said x plus y is less than or equal to then we are looking into lower portion of this correct so that is how we could actually shade to indicate that it is below this right now there is no point in going below the x-axis since these are always a positive numbers right okay the next statement for us is that y is greater than or equal to 20 That is more cabbages and uh, 20 means a horizontal line and above that more than 20 right so that's what we are looking into. So at 20 we will draw a solid line and then we look into everything which is above this right so so let's say we will draw these arrows. Soon it will be very colorful and beautiful. Okay. Fine. Now we have that at the most three times cabbages than maize, right? So, so y could be three times that of maize, right? So less than or equal to this. Three times. So that means the slope is three. So starting with origin, at 10, it will be 30, correct? At 20, it, it is going to be 60, correct? Let's join them and draw this line also. Now, these point of intersections are very important. They will help us to find the solution for maximum profit, correct? So, less than means below this, right? So you can clearly see now that there is a portion where everything is common, correct? So these are all our equations, perfect? These are all our equations. Now, let me, perfect. Now we have to circle the points which are intersection of all these lines, right? So the maze which you see here, one of the points is right there, right? And on this line, these are the two intersections. Now, on the other side, we do have an intersection here. And on this side, uh, you see that uh, uh, we have an intersection here. Okay, so there are a couple of points where they intersect, right? So this line, which is, uh, so the vertical line, this is the vertical line, intersects here. but but this is not within this, so I should not have marked this. Okay, that's not in our domain, right? So now, 
above this will also include this like let me just push the screen up okay because above 20 that is valid so these are some critical points which you could analyze for profitability now the last part here is to find the profit profit given to us is r800 per hectare and this 800 is on maize which is the quantity x for us right and r500 per hectare is given on cabbage which is variable y for us now to calculate the profit we have to look into these critical points and find the maximum profit well clearly these two points are not going to give us maximum since we are really not utilizing the whole area available to us so these two points are critical to look into correct so we should look into these two points a and b coordinates of point a are maize is 20 and cabbage is 60 right on B it is the other way 60 is maize 20 is cabbage now there is something which is uh, remarkable about the equation and that is a statement which says preference right so it says uh, this particular statement right which says prefers I mean that is a condition but uh, there is a statement which says prefers more cabbage than maize right so maize so this particular statement creates confusion so it's very important to highlight this part right so so the statement is right there which says he prefers to plant more cabbages than maize but his workforce and equipment will only allow him to cultivate three times the quantity of cabbage to that of maize. Well, that is personal preference. You get my point. Now, the idea, the part C, which we are now working on, it says if the profit of the maize is 800 per hectare and cabbage is 500 per hectare. Now, clearly this profit on maize is 800, pretty high, right? as compared to cabbages now when you're talking about economics then preference doesn't work let's be very clear about it so so we'll keep in mind that the preference doesn't work but we have met all of the criteria so this will be kind of preference right so looking into all this if i calculate the value at a multiplying 20 by 800 we get profit at a how much it will be 20 times 800 plus 60 times 500. Is that clear? Right. That is the profit in R, right? So whatever unit. So it is in 1000, 16K, right? 16,000 plus 30,000. Right. On the other hand, let's calculate profit at B. Profit at B, which is 60 maize and 20 cabbage. So the profit here is 48,000 plus 10,000, which is clearly 58,000 R. So that is huge as compared to what we have. This is 46,000, right? So this is. 46,000. Clear? Now, since there is too much of difference between the profits of uh, maize and cabbage, we actually could have gone to point B. Now, there could be another point also to look into, and that is, it could go 50-50. Right? It could go 50-50. And... Uh, 
in that case also you will notice that if I use that point let's call this a C right so profit at C will be 40 times 800 plus 40 times 500 so which is 32,000 plus 20,000 correct and that gives you the value which is 52,000 correct now you could say that since the preference is more towards corn most of the hectare should be um field should be corn right so you could make this as 41 in favor of corn but then you lose the profitability so my suggestion is that when you're talking about profit we have to give this second priority this statement right so it is less than equal to so less than works correct so I think this should be your answer. So for maximum profit, it has to be 60 hectares of maize and 20 hectares of cabbage. So that is my answer. So I hope that works. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.